In this video, we're going to be showing you how to use the AlphaFlow model on Neurosnap. If you don't already know, AlphaFlow is a model that predicts not just protein shape, but also a range of possible conformations that might show up as the protein shifts and moves naturally. So unlike other older models like AlphaFold or RosettaFold, they tend to predict a single rigid structure, but in reality, proteins are a little bit more dynamic. So AlphaFlow uses a unique method to capture this flexibility and all these different uh, shapes and conformations that the protein might take, and this helps research researchers understand the function a little bit more comprehensively without needing complex molecular dynamic simulations. So without further ado, we're actually going to go find the service right here on the Neurosnap uh, website. We're just going to hit, uh, you know, the AlphaFlow um, service. And then here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use CalModulin as a protein that we want to simulate and predict confirmations for. So what you can do is we can actually just hit the Uniprot ID over here, and this will automatically find the corresponding amino acid sequence. You can also always enter the amino acid sequence manually as well. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to select the alpha flow molecular dynamics weights. These ones tend to perform uh, very well in our experience. However, you're more than welcome to switch weights over. There's also an ESM flow uh, version as well that's pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to generate 10 confirmations just to begin with. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to submit the job and let Neurosnap handle all the rest. All right, we are now back with the results, and as you can see, this took about four minutes to complete, and just judging by the PLDDT, this looks like a very well-predicted structure. So PLDDT is a per-residue metric. It was actually first developed by, uh, by AlphaFold, and generally speaking, uh, the higher your PLDDT, so the more blue the structure is, the more uh, high quality and the more accurate your structure is going to be. So, um, as I said previously, AlphaFlow actually predicts multiple conformations, and we can see them right over here. So, these are the 10 different models that are predicted uh, by, um, what do you call it, AlphaFlow. So, we can actually just quickly loop through them. As we can see, they're all fairly similar. There is a little bit of wiggle room, but they're they're fairly consistent overall. And if we if we want to superimpose all of them on top of each other, this is what that kind of looks like. So you can see that there is a little bit of a variability in certain regions and whatnot, but the core structure is mostly there. And after all, these different models are going to be aligned by the the best scoring model. Next up, we have this plot of uh, the average PLDT for every single confirmation that was predicted. And we have a table with uh, a couple other metrics. So over here, we have the model ID, uh, the rank of the confirmation. So these are ranked by PLDT and the, the ones that are lower, uh, aka number one is always going to be the best one. And lower ones are going to be better than, uh, than the ones over here, the, the higher ones. Next up, we have the, the average PLDT column. So this is the same thing as this chart over here. Next up, we have uniqueness. So uniqueness is essentially how, uh, how different one confirmation is to all the other predicted confirmations. Generally, the higher the uniqueness, the more different it is. So as we can see, number 10, it's probably the most unique confirmation that was predicted, but they're all very similar overall. We also have the RMSD to the best one. So the best one is going to be number one. And, you know, the RMSD of uh, one model to itself is always going to be uh, uh, zero because it's the same structure. But uh, as we can see, uh, number two is the most, um, oh, actually, number four is the most similar as it has the, the lowest RMSD. And this one over here, number nine, is the most different compared to the best confirmation according to PLDDT. We also have a column that simplifies the whole thing and kind of just uh, tells you the overall quality of the predicted structure. So uh, overall, this is a very powerful tool if you want to take a look at different confirmations. And if you want to map even more confirmations than this, then you can definitely increase this number all the way up to like 50 or 100. If you want to go above that, just uh, send, us a, send us an inquiry and we're happy to help out wherever possible. And yeah, you know, I hope this video was here. It was very uh, helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and subscribe. And we'll try our best to get back to you with uh, a good response. Take care and see you in the next one.